For our incline bench press, we're going to start out standing nice and tall at the bench. I'm going to have the dumbbells on either thigh, and then I'm just going to lean nice and back until my back hits the bench. Kind of kick my legs up, so now the weights are nice and easy in place. So that's how we're going to get started. Imagine there's a big steering wheel right above you. Your hands are at 10-2 on that steering wheel. This is our good starting position. Control on the way down, a little bit faster on the way up. So breathe in, down, exhale, on the way up. We're gonna stop when our elbow and body are in line with each other. So I'm not going all the way down here. I'm gonna stop elbow and body in line. And as you do it, you finish all the way at the top. You should be feeling this mostly in your chest, a little bit in your arms. So some of the common issues we'll see with this one is one, when people get set up, we'll have the weights on the ground and they bend over to get it. That's all your low back going. And this is actually the number one cause of injury in a gym, picking up weights over off the ground like that. So we don't want that. We'll get it nice and easy from the floor, put it on your thighs to get set up, and then we'll go backwards. So this is, uh, that's issue number one. Our second issue is that elbow position. A lot of people like to go out here, or they go all the way in. We wanna find that middle ground. So I'm not out here, I'm not tucked in, I'm a few inches off my body, so I have a gap between my elbow and my body. Whenever you're done, you can either rock back up, or you're welcome to just set it straight down let go of it so long as your feet are out of the way.